Well, I'm not surprised by the results of the of the study. Um, I, I know that young young people are, are drinking lots of energy drinks. I mean, the British Dietetic Association, um, which is my professional body, and I'm a spokesperson for them, they've been um, sort of working on this for for really quite a long time, saying that we should not be um, you know allowing children really to have energy drinks. They're 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 just not a good thing for children. They're marketed as energy drinks, isn't it? I mean, they're very often sort of associated with sports or you're going off to a football tournament. You need your, um, I'm going to pick one brand, but other brands are available. Your Lucozade or whatever pack, not just full of caffeine, but of course, tons and tons of sugar. Uh, they're not really energy drinks, are they? They're just terrible drinks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's stimulants. I mean, there's, there's, there's two different types. There's um, the type that have loads of sugar in. And that brings its own difficulties, obviously, with, you know, writing obesity. There's, you know, I think, you know, 13 and upwards of, of uh, teaspoons of sugar often in them. And then you've actually got the other ones that are zero calories. And, and they're often used by people who have disordered eating because they give them a kind of stimulant boost. They sort of wake them up, um, give them what they think is energy, even though it's not really energy. And it actually um, enables them not, not to eat. And so that's, that's also a problem.